Welcome Arithmetic Ninjas to multiplying a fraction by a whole number. Let's have a look at question one. A quarter times 160. Now this means exactly the same as a quarter of 160. So to find a quarter of 160, we need to divide by four. A half would be divided by two, a third would be divided by three, a quarter divided by four, a fifth divided by five. So a quarter is divided by four. So we need to do 160 divided by four. We can do a quick bush shelter to help us with this. Fours into one won't go because four is bigger than one. But because it wouldn't go in there, we haven't really used the one. So we need to carry the one to make 16. Fours into 16 goes exactly four times and fours into zero won't go at all. So our final answer, a quarter of 160 is 40. Now that was an easy one, but what happens if it would have said two quarters? Well, we just found one, that 40 is one quarter. If it had have said two quarters, we would have need two lots of that 40, which would have been 80. If it had said three quarters, we would have been three lots of that 40, which would have been 120. So whatever your answer is, you've then got to times it by the number on the top. And in this case, it was one. So 40 times one is still 40, which is why our answer for that one is still 40. But it might get harder as we go along because the number on the top is not always one. This number on the top is five. This number on the top is three. Number on the top is eight. Number on the top is one. So let's see what we have to do with the rest of them. On question seven, we're going to look at a slightly different method for doing this. And you could make the whole number into a fraction by putting the invisible one underneath. Once you've done that, you can swap the of for a times and go top times top, bottom times bottom. So five lots of 110, so 110 times five, what's that going to give us? Five nothings are nothing, five ones are five, five ones are five. So that's going to give us 550 on the top, and then seven times one on the bottom, seven times one is seven. So we've got an improper fraction, 550 divided by seven. To turn that into a mixed number, we do a quick bus shelter, 550 divided by seven. Sevens into five won't go, but you haven't really used the five yet, so carry it to make 55. Sevens into 55, well, seven sevens are 49, giving you six left over. That now makes 60. And sevens into 60, eight sevens are 56, with four left over. But because we're dealing with sevens and dividing by seven, that four remainder would also be divided by seven, leaving it as four sevens. So your final answer is either 557 as an improper fraction or 78 whole ones and 4 sevenths. Let's do the similar technique on question 11. So we're going to put the invisible one in and we're going to go top times top, so 3 times 190 and bottom times bottom 7 times 1. So let's work that out. Well, 3 times 190, you might need a quick column method for. Three nothings are nothing, three nines are 27, put the seven in, carry the two. Three ones are three, plus the two is five. So that makes 570 along the top, and the bottom is easy, seven times one is seven. So as an improper fraction, we've got 570 sevenths. As a mixed number, you would have to divide that. So 570 divided by seven, Sevens into five won't go, but you haven't really used the five, so carry the five to make 57. Sevens into 57, well, eight sevens are 56, remainder one, so they carry the one to make 10. Sevens into 10 goes once, remainder three, but that remainder would also be divided by seven. So that is 81 and three sevens. So your final answer is either 570 sevenths as an improper fraction or 81 and 3 sevenths as a mixed number. Either of those two answers are correct. Question 14. Let's do the same method again. So put the invisible one in and go top times top, 8 times 530, bottom times bottom, 10 times 1. Let's work that out. So 8 lots of 530, top times top. 
Eight nothings are nothing. Eight threes are 24. Put the four in, carry the two. Eight fives are 40. Plus the two is 42. So we've got 4,240 along the top line. 4,240. And the bottom is going to be 10 times 1, which is just 10. So we've got 4,240 divided by 10. Now, this is actually an easy one because when you're dividing by 10, you can just move all the digits back one place. So 4,240, obviously that's got an invisible decimal point on the end. When you divide by 10, everything moves backwards one place. So the 0 goes back one place, the 4 goes back one place, the 2 goes back one place, and the 4 goes back one place. So the final answer for that one is 424. Last question, put the invisible divided by 1 in, and go top times top, 1 times 280, bottom times bottom is 20 times 1. Well, this is going to be a reasonably easy one because 1 times 280 is 280 and 20 times 1 is 20. So we're left with 280 divided by 20. Well, 280 divided by 20 sounds like it's going to be difficult. But if you just try a bus shelter, you'll realise that this one actually works out nicely. So we've got 20s into 2 won't go because 20 is bigger than 2. But you haven't really used the 2 yet because it wouldn't go. So you carry the 2 to make 28. 20s into 28, that's nice and easy. goes once with 8 left over. Carry the 8 to make 80. And 20s into 80 goes exactly 4 times. 20, 40, 60, 80. That's 4 times. So 1 20th times 280 is 14. Final answer, 14.